Hey, what is up you guys? That guy Ejon here, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today, well, I'm going to be showing you, showing off my own version of how to create a quest book. Now, there's probably uh, uh, different ways, or there's certain plugins out there to, like, create quest books, but I just did it m with no plugins involved whatsoever, and it's actually pretty simple. It's just uh, a lot of uh, conditional branches and uh, choice options and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show off to you behind it, like not behind scenes yet. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the quest book. So yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, it's in key item and let's just like uh, use. Would you like to view your active quest? Yes, I have no active quest. So now let's talk to this dude right here. Oh, I should Sorry, my mouse was on the screen. Alright, so. Go kill five bats in Mir Mirren Cave. I just gave these places random names, and obviously these guys random names. So now I have a new objective. Go kill five bats in Mirren Cave. So now let's go ahead and use the quest book again. So now I have a, a quest called Kill Some Bats. So, objective. Kill five bats in Mirren Cave. Mirren Cave. I don't know why I want to say Mirren. Rewards. 50 gold and 25 ex experience. So, now let's talk to this dude. He has another quest for us. Go kill the slimes in the field. Objective. Kill all the slimes in the field. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, I'm not actually going to be going through, like, completing these quests. But yeah. Uh, yeah, now if we go back to our quest book, and we... Now we have kill, kill some, kill the slimes. Objective, kill the slimes in the field. Reward, 100 gold and 50 experience. So, now, so now, uh, you guys have seen what this quest book, how this quest book, like, works, not behind the scenes, uh, never mind. But if we go ahead, oh, I'm not opening to do, uh, RPG Maker. Ignore all the stuff in the background. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and, and show you. So what you guys are going to need is you're going to need a common event called quest book. And, oh yeah, don't let this right here scare you off. It's just it's just a bunch of unconditional branches and event and uh, choices and stuff in text. And you're also going to need a item called quest book. And uh, make, make the, it the effect. So how to uh, add the, the common event effect is if I double click on here, I go to other, then common events, and then I can just select whatever common events I want to. I already have it right there, so yeah. Also, make sure to make it its occasion on the menu screen, scope, none, and it, make it non-consumable. You can choose like the price. I, I don't think you would need a price for a quest book, and... I personally would put it in under key item because it's an item that well, you're kind of going to need if you want to keep track of your quest. So yeah, let's go ahead and apply. Okay, so now let's go to the common event, see what what is doing this. So now, now let's make sure our our uh, player actually wants to view the quest. What if they accidentally just clicked on it and they thought they were clicking on something else? So let's cho show choices. Yes, or no. So now. What you're gonna want to do is, uh, oh yeah, make sure you have like a uh, here. Make sure to set up your uh, switches. You don't need like the completed switches. You can just like turn off the switches. But yeah, so uh, first one, you're gonna want your uh, first obtainable quest. You want to, you want your first quest that you can obtain to go first in this. And so if this is on, that and then it checks if kill the slimes is on. And then uh it'll show choices and stuff like that. And then uh but if kill the if some bats is not on, it will go ahead and check if uh let's see kill some that's there we go down Uh, oh, uh, down here, 
is this one right here links this else right here links to the uh, kill some bats up here. So we want to make sure to check if this is on because we want our quest. This quest book only focuses on active quests. So yeah, if this is off, then it will go ahead and check if this is on. If it's not on, then you have no active quest. Now there's no like limit on how you can create this. I'm sorry if I'm explaining this awfully. Yeah. Oh yeah, another thing. You're going to want to like have show choices and like like do the quest names like kill some bats and kill that slimes. Also, I just went ahead and put in a cancel option there. Well, you're going to need one. So what if your character changes their mind when they're already in this screen and they don't want to go through. They just want to hit cancel. So yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. It's just a bunch of conditional branches and it's just it's not that hard it really is pretty easy and you can add as many quests quests as you want to this there is no limit on how many you can add but yeah anyways uh sorry if i explained this awfully but yeah anyways you guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did go ahead and kick that like button don't actually kick the like button but if you do I hold no responsibility for a broken monitor. But yeah, anyways guys, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. More tutorials, uh, maybe some Let's Plays down the road, and maybe let's make a game series, I don't know. But yeah, anyways, once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.